good day great mind watching my youtube channel today we want to solve this nice exponential equation having the same power at the both sides so we are giving this question what should come to the mind first is the x is not equal to zero so if x not equal to zero so we are good to go to obtain the satisfied value of x okay let's check for how x is not equal to zero so suppose we have uh, 3 raised to the power of 0 plus 1 equals 2 raised to the power of 0 plus 1. So here is 3 raised to the power 1 equals to 2 raised to the power 1, so which is not equal, right? So x does not x equals to 0 does not satisfy this equation. Alright, let's see the way of solving this. If you have 3 raised to the power of x plus 1 equals 2 raised to the power of x plus 1. So let's consider this law of indices. If you have a raised to the power of n plus m, you can split it to be a raised to the power m dot a raised to the power n. Right? By applying this rule here, we are going to have 3 raised to the power x dot 3 raised to the power 1 equals 2 raised to the power x dot 2 raised to the power 1. I want to divide both sides by 2 raised to the power x. So to have only 2 there, we have 2 raised to the power x divided by 2 raised to the power x. By cancelling these two, we have 3 raised to the power x divided by 2 raised to the power x dot 3 equals to 2. Here is another law of indices that says, okay, if you have, um, if you have, let's say we have a raised to the power n divided by b raised to the power n, this can be a raised divided by b raised to the power n. Let's apply it here. We have 3 divided by 2, everything is power x equals to 2 divided by 3. So I've divided both by 3 and they are both. So that's why we have something like this. Okay, from here, if you have 3 divided by 2 is power minus 1, it's still the same thing as 2 divided by 3. So that's just like inverse. So we have 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of x equals to 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of minus 1. So we have the same base at the two sides. If we cancel these two, the same base, we have x equals to minus 1, which is the uh, require value which satisfy the equation. So s minus one satisfy the equation. Okay, let's verify. I mean, let's check whether this minus one satisfy the equation. So from the above, we have three raised to the power x plus one equals to two raised to the power of x plus one, right? So let's insert the value of x as minus one plus one equals to two raised to the power of minus one plus one. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So we have 3 raised to the power of 0 equals to 2 raised to the power 0. And in the value of 0 is 1 from the law of indices as well. 1 equals to 1, which are equal, right? So which satisfy the equation minus 1. So this is how to solve this nice equation. Uh, if you are new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.